Hey everyone, uh, DadGFN here, and I want to take this time with this video to sort of just talk about just everything that's been going on in the Gravity Falls fandom and myself lately. And it's just basically to discuss like, you know, the excitement and just hype that's been going on with Gravity Falls in terms of just the amount of content that's been made and posted around there and just the popularity that the show's been having lately. It's insane to see Gravity Falls at a level of popularity that I don't think I've ever seen it before at. It's incredible because like even back when 2018 when I was in the fandom when Lost Legends came out like it was never anywhere nearly as popular as it is right now like it's crazy just seeing how even more prevalent the show has been right now thanks to like the book of Bill and the website and all that stuff that's going on and you know that's led to both a lot of good things that are going on with the show and also a lot of bad things going on with the show and I kind of want to take this time to talk about that as well as some stuff that I've been dealing with as well and matters and stuff and just how I feel about all that and yeah um basically what I want to start first was talking about like the good stuff like there's been a lot of great stuff that's been made for the show and content and people making great fan art and talking about you know theories and wholesome content here and there and also some dark content and crazy messed up ideas about the show and like you know with these theories and stuff about like what's in the book of bill and what the website is talking about and the various things about bill and his past and whatever and it's kind of crazy seeing all the theorizing and ideas for fans that have had like about all the stuff it's so fun to see but there's also been a lot of um negatives and stuff that's been going on that i've been noticing a bit and i wanted to just touch base on that and use that also to talk about some other some stuff that i've been personally have i've had to deal with in regards to that and you know part of the reason what part of what i'm talking about here is like there's also the return of like a lot of weird content in the fandom like you know the type of content that you just don't really like seeing it's like weird unusual fan art and stuff of like either like ships and stuff or of characters and such and it's it's sad seeing that kind of content it's really disgusting and it makes me it makes me uncomfortable seeing that kind of content in the fandom it's just like sadly that cannot it, that cannot be stopped like there's always going to be weirdos in the fandom but you know part of my job as a member of the fandom is to avoid and not allow that stuff to be seen and you know part of that is by being a member of the fandom who is vigilant and mindful and that's what i always tried to do and i've always been a person who I believe is capable of, you know, doing a good job of eyeing out and seeing like bad apples in the fandom and being like, okay, this guy is making some weird content. I'm just going to give that guy no attention and avoid that person. Or this person's been talking about some weird stuff. Okay. I'm just going to ignore that person and, you know, give focus to the actual good creators in the fandom who are making great art, who are making great theories, who are making great memes and edits and stuff. Those are the people who I like in this fandom and they give, they make the fandom a much more fun place. But there's these bad apples who do a lot of bad things and you know make bad content and they're the ones who I try to avoid and not give attention to and I've had my experience of dealing with this stuff in the past like there's been uh, situations like on like the Gravity Falls various communities where there's been people who I've been made aware of it's like hey you might want to be careful of this person they've been making this type of stuff where I've been reached out and be like hey um you might want to avoid this person or um you might you accidentally give this person some attention who shouldn't have been given then you might want to you know block them and and not give them attention stuff like and you know whenever i'm made aware about that stuff i do my best to quickly just avoid that because you know i'm not as perfect as i as i want to believe that i am but i'm also capable i'm capable of making mistakes and i want to avoid doing the wrong make or give the wrong person attention it's like hey you might want to not give that person attention they've they've made this type of content in the past or they've done this thing and stuff and when i realized that i'm like okay this is bad like i'm not going to give them attention and i've talked about this before it's like i'm happy to have a community of people who are vigilant and let me know whenever i make a mistake or whatever and to let, help me you know f find my way through that and guide my way out of it and you know that's part of the community involvement of this fandom it's like people helping each other out you know like whenever i see someone like doing that or like something like i'll let them know i'm like hey you might want to get not want to give that person attention there they've done these bad things and stuff or they make this type of stuff and i avoid that and that's really what i'm grateful of about this fandom to have there's a lot of good people who do that stuff but you know i'm not perfect and i've made my fair share of mistakes in regards to that and so that kind of puts us into the here where i want to touch base on a recent situation i had and discuss it and make my overall stance on the matter more aware and so that way i can move forward in a manner that's more responsible on my end given with my rise in the fandom and presence in the fandom i have a duty of care to be a responsible and professional member of it and that includes being clear about matters like this that i may not have been as mindful of in the past and so a little while ago i was made aware of and got in touch with someone who was talking about uh, something they had noticed on my former DeviantArt page and to explain why i even had a page on that cursed site to begin with was because back in 2019 when i was leaving gravity falls amino i was moving to other sites like tumblr and i found that the username i was using on there was already taken 
And so wanting to ensure that I had it on other sites, I went and claimed it on various other ones, including DeviantArt, because, you know, I was like a dumb kid who was like, obsessed with like joining a bunch of websites and stuff. And originally, I never really used it, to be honest, because I was not a fan of the site for obvious reasons, because, you know, the weird content that's on there and recently the rise in AI content. And, you know, this is something I've spoken to some other people who used to be on DeviantArt, and they've also left for similar reasons. It's like, you know, the prevalence of weird content and also you know the ai stuff and that combined with this whole situation is kind of why i've left as well because it's just it's no longer the site that i thought it was back when i joined in 2019 and but basically like when i was on there like i would you know like and favorite fan art that was you know perfectly normal it's like regular wholesome gravity falls fan art that you'd see everywhere else and you know because my belief was like these artists on these sites are like you know they deserve a bit more attention and the care and you know if i can give them a favor and make their day like that's pretty fun and i can you know show that you know my appreciation for these artists and their hard work and making good content for this fandom and that's always what i would do is like i would go on there and go on like the tags and stuff and spam like fast like everything because like what i would do is like multitask i would you know sometimes i'd be working on something else or watching another video and stuff and i'd be on the other tab in my computer and just like fast liking a bunch of content on there i was like okay this is some cool stuff i'm just gonna quickly like all that stuff and go to the next thing and whatever and that was kind of what my process of liking fan art was and it was probably not a good idea because you know i think i've probably had moments where the site probably thought i was like a bot account or something but but that was kind of what my process was of liking fan art just like spam like and stuff and while majority of what i had liked under was perfectly normal gravity falls fan art and you know i knew how to avoid i tried at least i thought i knew how to avoid that stuff that was of like the vile not safe for work were suggested kind of content by you know using the proper filters and making sure that didn't appear in my feed like i thought that you know i was under the belief these filters were a lot better than what they actually are and while that's what I was doing, what was noticed by someone was that I had favorited art that was that was of that kind of nature, and it was, to be brutally honest, suggestive work that was leaning on the explicit sides of fan art of underage Gravity Falls characters, which is, yeah, that's horrible. And going by the TOS of the site, while it was not content that was in clear violation of any of the stuff that was written on there, or even of like the actual like properly messed up not safe for work crap because believe me i know how to avoid that stuff like the plague and even if i saw it in the feeds and like and stuff while i was going through like maybe i would i would avoid that stuff and i thought that you know suggestive content content like that would always be blocked by these filters you know it was art that was of nature that was something you really don't want to give attention to even if it was not of a properly really vile nature and i've been clear on my stance on that kind of content to begin with it's horrible it's inappropriate and i despise not safe for work art and sadly it's going to be something that will always be out there, but at least I cannot give it attention and not allow it to be appearing in my feed or associate with me. And I've had the misfortune of seeing stuff in my time in the fandom that is truly of that vile nature. And unfortunately, when I was newer, that was a lot more prevalent than stuff that I would see, it's especially on like other sites like Gravity Falls Amino, for example. There were some really weird things that were posted on there of that suggestive type nature. And it's stuff that at times made me really consider leaving the fandom and it was stuff that really affected me and it's part of why I've been so careful and tried to do my best to ensure that content like that never appears in my feed and stuff and never and if it does like to ignore it or block it and make sure that doesn't happen and that I don't give it attention. And I know more or less how to avoid that stuff be it with the filters and properly enabled and stuff and I was under the impression that these filters were a lot better than what they actually were sometimes but in my process of spam liking I also sometimes you know and I'm not as vigilant and, you know, I'd be liking stuff. And, you know, if you're not following me on Tumblr, you know how it goes. Like sometimes I mass reblog and like a lot of stuff and sometimes it reaches the reblog limit and stuff. And I guess the sites believe that I'm a bot or something, whatever. But obviously it's not the best idea in that regards because, you know, it puts you at a higher risk of liking stuff you didn't mean to. And as I said earlier on, while I do multitasking and stuff, while I'm doing that stuff, so I was under the heavy trust of these filters that I hope that I would not like content that shouldn't be there. But at times, I guess I should have read these things better and looked at it better because, it, you know, it would stay there. It's like, you know, it's not always guaranteed. And, you know, that allowed stuff that was of a suggestive nature that appeared. And either it's because, you know, the person who made that content either didn't properly tag it as mature or they didn't care and they didn't, you know, believe that it was of that nature. And so they let it appear in the regular feed. And sadly, fandoms always had people like that of that kind of content, which is, even if it's not violating the proper TOS, it's still content that's creepy it's weird it's disgusting you don't want to give it attention and it's a weird gray area i guess of the fandom to avoid but either in either way in my case it was my responsibility to ensure stuff like that didn't appear in my favorites and even if it did to go back and remove that and well that was something i didn't do a good job of and i should have been more, more mindful of it and more aware of you know how these filters work and doing my best to ensure that that doesn't happen and 
properly like going if something did appear like block it and not allow it to appear again and I didn't do a good job about that and that was something I should have done a better job of and for that I take full responsibility of my negligence and I apologize for that because I should have been better and I will always maintain my stance against such content and part and part of that is ensuring I don't give it attention I'm against and I hate that kind of content and I've been more mindful of that showing you know slowing down and making sure that I check things that are to make sure that they're not problematic like if, if something I see posted it's like if this is really good art like I'll check to make sure like if it's from an artist who I don't know previously who know, I know that doesn't make that kind of stuff like I'll check to make sure like do this, does this person have any other content and if they're not if they're clean like you know I'll give it a, attention like because like you know that's a great art that it should give it should be seen by more fans but you know if that artist has done you know content like that as well of in the past like you know I'm gonna ignore that I'm not gonna give it attention and alas, I've seen artists who were once pretty iconic in the fandom who made art that was perfectly normal and fine, who have now devolved into making more suggestive or weird art, and it's a shame. And these are artists who were once popular, who have done some disappointing things, and maybe I was a fan of them once, but I'm no longer a fan of them because, you know, sadly, like, it's sad seeing, you know, content, like, artists devolve into that type of stuff. Like, I, j I just don't like seeing not safe for work content for Gravity Falls characters in general. It's something I'm not a fan of. It makes me uncomfortable, and I'm regretful that type of content was given an even an ounce of chance of being seen on my profile. Like, I should have been more mindful. I should have gone back and block these accounts so that these disgusting people who make this vile art of these amazing Gravity Falls characters do not have a chance to be seen in my feet again. That's something I'm regretful I should have done better. I'm disappointed in myself I didn't do a better job of that. And, you know, in my position, avoiding such content and people is the best way to not give it attention. And it's something I've done a better job of. And, you know, as someone who survived seeing some truly horrible things at the hands of people who should have been better off at being mindful of that, I can at least do a better job of being a member of this fandom who doesn't give that content even an ounce of attention or a profile or an outline or a place to be seen because you know I know what it's I know how important it is to have a safe place in the fandom for fans to discuss the good things about the show like the good artists who make actually good content and to discuss you know theories and the the show itself and what else is there and this is a reminder of just how important it is of that and to ensure that you know to do a better job and to be a good member of this fandom and it's something I'm always going to ensure to do and I'm regretful of these mistakes and I'm I'm really disappointed in myself that I allowed this to happen but I can at least take away from this that, that I can do a better job because you know I don't want to give that attention and no one else should be seeing that stuff it is content of a depravity I don't want to give attention to and those artists and people who make it I sadly cannot do anything about that but at least I can ensure that they don't have any prevalence in the fandom or have attention from me and you know the Gravity Falls fandom is full of some amazing people who do amazing things and those are the people who I want to give attention to not these weirdos those good artists and good creators and people who make good content that's what I want to always emphasize and that was what I was originally doing with my whole goal here but you know, it's more important than not nowadays, especially with Twitter and right now, like, you know, how Elon Musk has fucked that site over. It's like, there's a lot more horrible stuff that appears in the feeds and stuff on there. And it's scary how easily things that are of a not safe for work or even a suggestive nature can appear, like, from these accounts that are probably new that haven't yet had been able to be shadow banned. And I don't even know if shadow banning is now a thing on Twitter, but how much Elon changes it. It's scary how much content appears that is of a bad nature that shouldn't be in these tags and feeds and it's so important more than ever to avoid it. and it's like something i've been doing now it's like with how busy the gravity falls fandom is now i've just avoided avoided a lot of the gravity falls tags and stuff yeah it's it's scary how bad sometimes people in this fandom are with stuff they make but at least i can do a good a good job of not ensuring that that stuff appears in anything that i do and that's my goal with overall moving forward to just be a good and better member of this fandom and take the lessons I made from these mistakes here to be better and to not give that attention at all because I owe it to this fandom. I have a responsibility and duty of care to be a better member of this fandom and that's what I'm always going to be able to do and going to do. But basically what I'm trying to say with all this is that even nowadays, there's a lot worse and stuff that I've been seeing going on and talking about like like content here and there, either bad theories, bad art, or bad weird stuff. And it's all it's basically this whole story is basically it's just to like make me more aware of vigilant how vigilant you gotta be when you're on these in these fandom communities of like even like art that you might 
at first think is not bad may end up like if you click on it and because like the weird like for example on twitter like the weird crops and stuff when it comes to like posts like if it's a bigger crop like if you look at the image and you're like oh that's uh that's not good yeah don't join twitter guys just do not join twitter it's 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 done for guys and the funny thing is that i actually remember like this is something that even alex hirsch has done like he's or mistakenly done in the past like i remember back in i think 2021 it was that there was this fan art that was going viral on twitter at the time and it was it was not like messed up fan art or anything but it was like it was posted by an artist who is known for making some iffy suggestive weird art and alex actually commented on that tweet and they're and they basically just asked them a question being like why why are the, the twins like this and stuff and it wasn't like just want to make it clear like alex didn't respond to any like actual like messed up art like it wasn't like nsfw or suggestive like overly but it was posted by an artist who is known to doing that for doing that stuff and i guess alex realized that almost instantly because less than a minute after he tweeted that he deleted the tweet and i the only reason i remember this is because i was on twitter at the time and just checking on him looking through and i got a notification like hey alex has just commented on something and i was like wait what 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 alex alex what what and I think that was also why I also how I realized like oh god this artist is messed up like avoid that because like that art, art was going viral and that was back when like I said I was not as vigilant as, as I should have been and you know yeah that was another reminder of just how easy it's scary it is that stuff like this can get out there and stuff but anyways overall the stance I'm trying to say here is that there's a lot of bad uh, stuff in the fandom, but there's also a lot of good stuff in the fandom, and that's also something that's worth mentioning. Like, for example, the fandom discussions and um, content that's been going on is great, and it's really makes makes me so happy to see all the fandom hype that's been going on for the book and the website. And it's crazy how many fan discussions and stuff that's been going on. Like, there's been fans making these massive... Um, documents talking about like the various codes and the websites and stuff and the book and stuff and i think i remember like the book of bill a good portion of it was solved like literally days after it came out and then the website was also more or less figured out like in a couple of hours after it was made available and I, let me just tell you like when the website came out i was fucking outside like i was touching grass i was like in not i was not even in toronto when the website came out funny enough i was like all the way in another town when it happened and I, I just got a tweet messaging me being like hey um check the website it's finally loading and stuff and i was like oh come on i'm in the one mall in the entire province that doesn't have good wi-fi and now i have to figure out how to find a hotspot or something and access it. and <laughs> that was not fun but i managed to get onto there before um the website um dropped and yeah that was good like i managed to managed to be there when it dropped and i got to see the website loading and stuff so that was fun but you know overall it's thing that basically the point is that there's a lot of good that fans do and stuff and that's always great to see and oh my god there's construction starting again okay i think the construction has stopped or at least gotten a lot less loud which is just summer in toronto man it's always construction season here but there's also even outside of that circle, like, there's been weird stuff with Gravity Falls in terms of, like, you know, the whole idea of more episodes and stuff. Like, people, the whole season three debate has reignited lately, and it's gotten so frustrating to see, like, I, because, like, I've always been maintaining and making sure that people know that, you know, Gravity Falls is over. Like, give it a rest. There's no season three coming. Just let it go. But, you know, these, like, these folks on TikTok and stuff and other websites, like, they, they post about how, like, oh, guys, look at this little fake image screenshot that's saying season three is coming next year, and suddenly it goes viral, and everybody thinks that Gravity Falls is coming back, and suddenly everybody's begging Alex about more of Gravity Falls, and it's just so annoying seeing that, like, it's, 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 like, this is probably one of the things I hate about how Gravity Falls is so popular right now, it's that we have all this misinformation spreading around there, we have all these people who, um, are saying that oh the show's coming back show is doing this so is doing that and you know personally i've i've made the mistake as well like well we're talking about mistakes that i've made and stuff like in the past like i've been a person who did think that season three was gonna be a real thing back in like 2017 when i was new in the fandom and was like oh guys when's season three coming but you know as time's gone on i've come to accept that you know gravity falls is over like let's, let's move on and i i don't get why people want a season three of gravity falls like there's more enjoyment to come from the show if you accept it's over and enjoy it 
that way like enjoying gravity falls without knowing that it with, with the knowledge that it's over is so much more fun than um believing that the show is going to come back like it is a lot more fun that way and it is great and sadly not everybody believes it that way but you know you enjoy the show a lot more when you accept that it's over and you know it gives new merchandise a lot more fun of a feel when it happens so you know i guess that's how i look at it but sadly i guess not everyone thinks that way which is a shame and you know i guess that's probably why gravity falls fans sometimes are the type of people who will be able to solve the the hardest codes in books and stuff but somehow still can't accept the go past the first stage of grief when it comes to denial and denying that the show is over it's crazy honestly like that stuff like and i guess there's no way to fully stop it in the same way here but it would be nice like i think alex is probably sick and tired of people begging him for a season three at this point it's just so annoying seeing that there's been a really surge in popularity as well for a um another uh, a gravity fall a, a once sort of believed to be dead ship or dormant ship that just had a surge in popularity as a late and of course if you know that that's which one that is it's of course bill ford um, and I guess it's basically because of, like, the Book of Bill and the whole hints and that about, like, positives and stuff that the weird, like, situation that Bill and Ford had in terms of their relationship. And that's sort of an interesting thing to see. Um, basically, I I've seen a lot of people either being like, oh my god, why are people shipping this? And other people are like, oh my god, Bill Ford, ah. And... It's kind of weird because, like, for me personally, I don't really have a stance on any of this stuff. Like, for me, I really don't give two fucks about shipping, to be honest. But I've noticed that people do are talking about Bill Ford. Some are actually shipping it. Some are hating it. Um, for me personally, like, after looking at it and talking to other people who are discussing it, the thing I've noticed in regards to Bill Ford is that really the thing that this is all about is not so much the ship itself, but... The fact that this happened to Ford and how it, he got out of it, it's basically a study into a toxic relationship in terms of the situation that Bill and Ford had. Because Bill, of course, is a manipulative piece of shit, and Ford was the man person who was manipulated. Oh god, the construction starting again. But anyways, um, Ford was the guy who was manipulated by bill into building the portal and stuff and ford and all that stuff and bill was driving it home into ford that he has to do this and scaring him and threatening him and whatnot and it's textbook toxic relationship type stuff and i'm pretty sure like all of us have dealt with something like that in the past like we've dealt with you know a bad experience in the past with a person who's like toxic to us be it a relationship a friendship a family member or someone in your life like we've all had someone like that in our life that tried to manipulate you into one way or another into doing their bidding and stuff and then when you realize that and you try to escape they make your life hell until you finally are able to free free yourself from them and once you do you realize just oh my god this is a horrible situation i can't believe i let myself fall into this and that's what bill ford is really all about i feel like it's us seeing ford become a better character by the end of it and that's really great because like for me like i've always been open about how like i used to not be the biggest ford fan but like over over time i've become a bit better a, a bigger fan of ford as i've come to really understand his character and i guess bill ford is a good example of just how far ford has come in his time from when it began because like back then he was you know he was he was a victim of bill and now he's realized that you know true happiness is his own family and not trying to do bill's bidding and he's realized that bill survives off of um trying to be seen by people trying to be known and making himself known out there and the moment that he loses that that's what he fears that's what he fears that he fears being forgotten about and for ford bill was that person that he wanted bill ford wanted bill wanted ford to be the catalyst that made him known in the universe and Ford rejected that and let that go and he in turn grew and turned in terms of got better and he is now a better off person because he let go of Bill and that's sort of the lesson to be learned here of letting go of toxic people letting go of bad situations and finding the ability to accept that you made a mistake with this person or people and situation and 
learn from it and grow and become better and move on and accept that, you know, you screwed up here, but you've found your way to move on in life and do better and be better. And, you know, that's like, it occurs to go back to the whole situation here with me. It's like, you know, I made a mistake back then and it's something I'm regretful that I was not more vigilant of back then about doing, but I've taken the lessons I've learned from there and have work to be better and do more be more vigilant and you know similar in that case like we've all had our fair share of mistakes or bad calls and mis mismanaged or bad decisions that we feel regretful of now but the key point of that is if you can learn something from that and grow and do better then at the end of the day you have become a better person by the end of it and you know for me like that's sort of how i see it it all like I screwed up, I made a mistake, and I was, I really should have been more vigilant, but I've learned from that, and I'm now more careful and vigilant, mindful of making sure I check everything that I give any attention to, because the last thing I want to do is give attention to someone or something that is not good, and is just, ugh, it's not, it's not you know, you've already, I've already explained it, but you, that's the thing, it's like, it's so scary in terms of like how, you know, you can deal with people or things online that like this that stuff and you know it is i'm glad that we've been able to this whole situation with billford has sort of expressed that whole situation like we've all had our person we've all had our bill cipher in our life i sure as hell have had my fair share of bill ciphers in my life and um yeah it's difficult it's it's a difficult thing sometimes for people to talk about or to accept and move on from that you know you were you were suckered into being someone stanford here <laughs> but you know there's always the different outcomes. You can always go down the path of denial or you can go down the path of accepting you screwed up and moving on like Ford did. And that's sort of like the lesson that Bill Ford, I guess, in my opinion, is talking about. It's it's a lesson of how to escape bad situations and, situ and relationships and issues with people and become better. And that's sort of the lesson that Bill is not someone who you should try to be like. And Ford is what you should try to in the end Diver deviate yourself into being and doing being like i don't know it's like, it's like it's weird seeing how like the whole debate is of course there's always going to be people who make bill ford weird weird content and stuff and that's another thing like you're talking about like i've seen i've seen some weird things here <laughs> going on with bill ford like it's like yeah there's a there's always those bad apples like i mentioned like she's same same like on like when i was talking about like demon and stuff it's like even though i was careful and vigilant and stuff there's always those bad apples that ruin it for everyone else that have these put like their shit into these into these tags and stuff and you you if you're not careful you just fuck up and stuff like ugh. yeah it's it's a sh it's a shame that there's like content like this out there in the fandom and i hate that that, that stuff is out there and you know there's always weirdos in the fandom that make this stuff and yeah but i've talked about the negative parts of the fandom a lot so i guess it's time to move on to the, the more positive stuff and you know the, the the viralness and popularity of gravity falls right now has been insane like you know the book the website like the amount of memes and stuff that i've seen it's hilarious like seeing like gravity falls having new a new wave of excitement and fandom discussion and it's so much fun to see and yeah i, I really wish that it, it could go on like i i, I feel like though like in a couple more weeks probably starting and it start to die down and stuff and it's kind of sad because there obviously isn't anything else on the horizon for gravity falls like this is sort of it and Alex has said that like if the book of Bill does sell well, that could be promising for new content, but that doesn't necessarily mean that, you know, that new content would be coming anytime soon. And in terms of that new content is books. Like the thing that Alex means by new new stuff and it could be promising for Gravity Falls is stuff like new books, stuff like new merchandise, stuff like that. And yeah, fingers crossed that we do get some cool stuff for Gravity Falls soon. That that would be really exciting to see in that regard. But who knows when that will be. Like it could be a couple of weeks from now we could find out something or a couple of months from now and i didn't remember like someone at the uh book signing event that alex did when he was at, at one of those barnes and noble events that he did like they said that like if the book of bill sells well they could could maybe convince disney to do a special edition of it but that that's again another case of like alex saying something and it may not end up being the case like it all depends on how well it sells and if disney is down to do that and that all depends again like on the success of the book of bills so i guess we'll probably see soon eventually like if that is something that could happen but who knows maybe not it's like it's not it's probably not like it's it's crazy honestly just you know 
it feels like Gravity Falls is a lot more alive because of all this stuff. Like, I remember back in 2018 when Lost Legends came out and the box set came out, and the fandom hype back then was nowhere near as popular as it is now. Like, I feel like Gravity Falls right now is probably in the best position to have more hype because, like, again, I said earlier, like, there's nothing else on right now that is captivating attention away from Gravity Falls. Back in uh, 2018, like, we had Star Wars of the Force of Evil, Steven Universe, the recent announcement of the Owl House and Amphibia, like, so there was a lot of new stuff coming that had people focused on that more so than uh, Gravity Falls. So when Gravity Falls had new content, yes, it was popular and it was exciting, but no one gave it as much attention. Also at the time, Gravity Falls was in this awkward position of, like, it had ended, but it was not yet to the point where it was nostalgic to people. So it was in this awkward position of like, eh, Gravity Falls, let's move on to something else. Let's talk about something else. Like, yeah, Gravity Falls is now in that nostalgic period of its life. And it's made the show more popular in terms of fans coming back. And I've seen a lot of fans who were big in the fandom back in the day coming back to discuss it. And it's cool seeing that because like there is this excitement in the air of new Gravity Falls content, new Gravity Falls discussion, and it makes me happy seeing Gravity Falls fans reunited and discussing the show once more. Like, it makes me long for the days when I, if, of when I was new in the fandom and, you know, exploring the Gravity Falls Amino. I was looking at GF Amino earlier just to see how, um, if it was still alive or people talking on there, and there's barely anyone on Gravity Falls Amino nowadays. Like, I, back in its peak when I was a member on there, it was like 2,000 people sometimes during the summer would be online at once. Now there's probably not even 50 people online on a good day, and regular days are probably less than 30 or maybe I think I've even seen like two people online at one point and one of them was me so that gives you an idea of just how dead that place is at the end of the day like Gravity Falls is a fandom of amazing people and amazing people of true talent and curiosity and vigilance and discussion and, and I'm grateful to be part of this community to have a chance to talk about the things I love about the show and share stories and stuff about it and for me that's always been my goal sharing stories about Gravity Falls that I both learned about and I feel like fans other fans could learn about like for example the Buffalo story <laughs> like no one almost no one knew about that whole story until I found out about that and that was pretty fun to discuss or you know with interviewing Alex Hirsch there's new things we learn and it's kind of funny also <laughs> learning just how similar in terms of you know, these type of things and mistakes that, you know, Alex has also been of, like, it's, like, crazy how Alex in many ways is sort of, like, the fans here. Like, he's curious, he's interested in stuff, and he is naive sometimes with his views on stuff and talking about these situations in terms of, like, fandoms and stuff. And I guess he's probably learned it himself as well. And, you know, that's, I guess, part of the whole learning experience when it comes to fandoms. Like, you discover good and bad people in the fandom and it's important to find those good people in the fandom to put your trust into and an assurance with because they are the ones who will guide you and make sure that you are oh, safe from those bad apples and i'm always grateful for fans like that who you know reach out to me and talk to me and let me know about like hey um um you might want to be careful of that and stuff like that and i've always been made aware of like whenever i've been told about this I'm like oh my god oh my god i should have been more visual and that's part of the learning experience for me it's like i'm i'm not perfect and i've sure as hell have been not the most vigilant as fan that i mentioned but like i've that learning experience from back then has helped me do a lot better now and you know especially with the popularity spike that gravity falls has like it's so much more important to be vigilant and mindful and i'm glad that i've had the ability to do that and keep an eye out and provide the fan with a positive and fun environment of community driven and fun content to talk about and that's always what i love about gravity falls fans it's a tight-knit community of crazy <laughs> insane people and we are all in the same craziness of discussion and lore and investigating and it's always fun to to look into it all and i'm glad to be part of this community and i'm always going to be happy about that there is so much good in this fandom and i always want to make sure to give that the attention and discussion and that's always what i'm going to put focus on in this channel and my work in this fandom at the end of the day, there's always going to be those horrible pieces of shit that make and talk about weird stuff, be it like disgusting artists or maple haters or weirdos who have bad takes and stuff. But but the important thing is to just never give those idiots attention because that's what they strive for. And 
not giving them any attention is the important thing and being vigilant and mindful is always the key in regards to that and so that is the takeaway for me in regards to this whole matter and yeah i'm grateful that i was made aware and talked i was able to discuss this and talk about it and just really wanted to get this off my chest because at the end of the day yeah i will always do my best to never give that attention and i've learned from missteps in the past that you know it's so important to do that and yeah that essentially is more or less all i gotta say in regards to this um there's a lot of great things going on in the gravity Falls fandom that it's going to be exciting to talk about as well like I, like just a couple of fanzines going on like that's more of the positive stuff i want to give attention to like these amazing fanzine projects that fans are working on be it like like bill cypher fanzines or season fanzines and upcoming fanzines regarding the resurgence and popularity of the show like there's some great projects going on with fans that is really worth talking about there's also um i don't know if you know this but gravity falls deep woods recently is coming back for one last episode that i'm really excited to watch i'm gonna be checking that out there is so much going on in this community that is worth giving attention to and i'm really excited to um see that and that's the type of fandom community i always will be be the person to give to talk about for like i want to be the member of this fandom that always gives these good people the attention they so very much deserve because there is so much underrated incredible work in this community that deserves more eyes on it and if my community and my ability and content can help do that then even in a small percentage then so be it i will do it because there is good people in this fandom that deserve that uh, that attention and yeah, that is that is my overall mission with this fandom and this community and this channel and overall that is always what I will strive to do because I have a duty of care to this fandom to be a good ambassador to the rest of it for these great things about it. It's a it's a trust and and privilege that I take really to heart and I am always grateful and will always do the best I can because that is what I owe this fandom for all that it helped me through in my darkest hours back when I, you know I was younger and just not knowing what life will have and Gravity Falls fans are amazing and I'm so grateful to be part of this community and I'll always do my best to be a member of it that is good and that is I guess what I gotta say for here um uh, if you made it to the end of this video um you know I wanted to get some of this off my chest and just talk about it and talk about the, the good and bad sides of the fandom mistakes and ups and downs <laughs> but yeah um thanks for watching um uh new com more content coming on the channel soon um thanks thanks for tuning in and uh bye